So you just started your free trial with software and ready to start building. But you might just be a little overwhelmed with all the options that software's main editor provides. Don't worry, here is a quick tour um, to show you around the workspace and get you up to speed in no time. Let's start with the top banner. On the left-hand side, you will see a go back button, which brings you back to your software portal. And here you can see all your projects. And let's go back to the current project that we're already on. Next to the back button, you can check the name of your current application and you can rename it by clicking on the name. Below the application name, you can see which page that you are currently on within your application. You can open the page settings to configure the current page To the middle of the banner, we have the viewport settings, which controls the look of all your blocks. These are primarily used to help you understand how your application looks for different devices um, and also how different user groups view your application. This is less relevant if you just started off, but will become a setting that you will use all the time once your application gets more complex and have multiple user groups. I have videos about user groups ready to help you once you are at that stage. But if you want to check out early, I have the link down below. To the right of the banner, you have buttons to add collaborators. You have a status icon to help you understand if your progress is saved. You have a preview button to help test your application without publishing your application. And once you're happy with it, you can hit the publish button to make your application live for your users. Your application links or your custom domains will also be displayed in this published window here as well. You can simply copy the link from here and share it, or you can go straight to your application with this button on the right. Now, moving on to the main work area of the editor, the center bit. This is where your blocks are displayed once you add them by clicking on the plus button. With software, you are really building your application as if you're building a uh, with Lego blocks just simply click on the plus button wherever you, you want your block to be slotted into. You can also click on the blocks to configure each block and style them. We will be doing a deeper dive on block settings in a different video. Last but not least, on the left, you have four buttons that help you manage your entire application. The first one is page. This is where you can see all the pages that you have for this application. You can search for a specific page with the search input, add new pages with this button down here, arrange page order by dragging, enable or disable the page with this button with an eye icon, and delete or duplicate pages from this drop down button. You can also enter page settings from here, though if you want to go to the page setting for the current page that you're already on, it is always faster just to use the setting button on the top banner here that I just showed you before. We are going to make a separate videos on all the page settings, so stay tuned. It is quite a bit to go through in just one video. Moving down, you have the theme option. All of these settings will determine the default styling of your entire application. You can still set different styling configurations per block, but setting your theme settings here will ensure consistency in styling and also save you a lot of time from doing a lot of repetitive work every time you add a new block. Again, we'll discuss styling in details down the line in a separate video. The third one is users. This is where you connect your user database and manage your users. As usual, less relevant for you right now if you just started out, but we'll do a video to cover everything you need to know about users and database. Moving on to the last one, it's the settings button. Clicking on this button will bring out a panel that gives you a ton of options to configure your application. These settings are global to your application, meaning that they apply to your entire application. For now, the most relevant settings are general settings, where you can name your application, tweak your subdomain, change the fabric of your site, or toggle on and off software branding, or unpublish your application if they are currently live. For the rest of the settings, as you develop your application, they will come into play um, down the line very organically, so they are less relevant to start out with. But it's good to know where they're at, 
and also you just it's good to know that they are here when you need to locate them down the line and there you have it a quick tour on how soft this main edited look and how everything is laid out just to get you started if you find this video helpful consider liking this video subscribing to my channel and just share this video with your fellow no code builders connect with me on twitter or comment down below uh, let me know which area you'd like me to do a deeper dive on and or do a separate videos on so until next time ciao